All right, we need to go back to uh, 5.2. We're talking about rotational kinetic energy. In this case, rotational kinetic energy is going to, we're going to use the same trick we've been using all along with rotational stuff. In 5.2, rotational kinetic energy. Rotational kinetic energy is going to be like regular kinetic energy. Regular kinetic energy is uh, 1 half mv squared. Piece of cake to figure out what k, uh, rotational kinetic energy is. I'm going to write ke rot. And that's going to be one half. And then how hard something to turn is like the, is what, you know, mass is how hard it is to push something. So how hard to turn something is inertia. And so we'll use inertia times the, and instead of velocity, we're going to use angular velocity squared. Great. Um, all right. And then uh, that should do it. So basically, if I've got, I wonder how some, how much uh, energy this thing has. I would go, all right, well, um, if I've got, it's got inertia of four, and it's got, uh, it's spinning at uh, 12 radians per second. Amount of kinetic energy would have is equal to one half, four times 12 squared. And so it's kinetic energy rotational would be equal to 2 times 12 squared, which is 288 joules. Just that simple. So you now got it.